Deep in the heart of Siberia's dense, whispering taiga, far from any village or road, lies a place few have seen with their own eyes, and even fewer have dared to approach twice. A vast stone mound, unnatural, imposing, and eerily silent, juts from the forest floor like a scar in the earth. In local legends, it's called the Fire Eagle Nest. Scientists call it the Potomsky Crater. But no one, not yet, has uncovered its true origin. Welcome to Unveiling the Unusual. I'm your host, Elowen Cross, and today we journey into one of the world's most perplexing natural enigmas, a geological anomaly so strange, so remote, and so unexplained, that even after decades of study, the truth remains elusive. The year was 1949. Soviet geologist Vadim Kolpakov, then just 27 years old, was leading a mineralogical expedition through the remote Akutsk region of southeastern Siberia. While navigating the thick coniferous forest, he stumbled upon something no one expected. A massive dome-shaped structure of shattered grey limestone, rising nearly 40 metres high and stretching over 160 metres across. It looked like an impact crater, turned inside out. A cone, rather than a depression. Ringed with smaller mounds and oddly lacking in vegetation. It was unlike anything Kolpakov, or anyone, had ever seen, though he initially suspected a meteorite strike. The shape defied logic. Meteor craters don't rise, they fall. Local Ivenki tribes people, who had long avoided the site, warned Kolpakov not to approach. They believed the mound was cursed, scorched into the forest by a great firebird from the sky. According to them, mammals avoided it, so did birds. Some Evenki said those who entered never returned, but Vadim Kolpakov, trained in rationalism, pressed on. From the start, the Potomsky crater was a puzzle. Its structure, limestone blocks scattered in a conical shape, with a hollow center and a narrow trench at the top, defied typical geological formations. There were no signs of volcanic origin, no traces of lava or ash. It wasn't sedimentary collapse either. Intriguingly, Core samples suggested that the formation was only a few hundred years old, perhaps 250 to 300 at most. That ruled out glacial activity or anything prehistoric. Even more curiously, tree growth around the mound seemed unusually fast, as if the soil had been irradiated or disturbed. And there's more. In the 2000s, a scientific expedition tested the crater for residual radiation. They found slightly elevated levels, not enough to suggest a nuclear event, but enough to raise eyebrows. So, what caused the Potomsky crater? The leading theory for years was a meteorite strike, but no metallic fragments were found none of the telltale signs of a space rock smashing into Earth. And remember, it's an outward rising mound, not a bowl-shaped depression. Others proposed a phreatic explosion, underground gas igniting and blowing out the crater in a dome. But again, no burn marks, no soot, no hydrocarbons. If gas was the culprit, it left no fingerprints. Some suggested it might be a dormant volcano, yet the area has no history of volcanic activity and the limestone composition doesn't match typical magma-formed geology. And another theory, could there be a connection to the Tunguska event? But here's where things turn stranger. Some speculate a link to the Tunguska event of 1908, 
the massive explosion that flattened 800 square miles of forest, also in Siberia. Perhaps the Potomsky crater was part of a twin event, or a misfired cosmic strike. And then, there's the darker fringe theories, an alien landing site, hidden military testing, or even a secret buried beneath the limestone. Unproven, of course, but in a place so remote and so shrouded in myth, it's no surprise such theories endure. In 2005, an expedition led by Russian scientist Dr. Valery Shevayev set out to settle the debate once and for all. Tragically, Shevayev died of a sudden heart attack just before reaching the crater. The rest of the team proceeded, but the event cast a pall over the mission. Local guides claimed the site had taken another soul, a warning not to dig too deep. To this day, some researchers believe the crater should be left alone. Whether it's superstition or a precaution, who can say? Perhaps the most unsettling aspect of the Potomsky crater is its silence. Not just the physical silence of the Siberian wilderness, but the silence of nature around it. No birds nest there. No large animals wander through. Cameras left to record time-lapse footage often return blank, drained, or strangely corrupted. What force, natural or otherwise, disturbs the very rhythms of the forest? Some claim it's just coincidence, others aren't so sure. Today, the Potomsky crater remains largely untouched, Few expeditions venture there, deterred by its remote location and the eerie tales surrounding it. Is it a meteorite's footprint, an undiscovered geological process, a remnant of a forgotten catastrophe, or something else entirely? Whatever the answer, it hasn't come easily. The Potomsky crater resists explanation lurking like a question mark in the Siberian wilds, challenging our understanding of the planet we call home. Some mysteries are meant to be solved, others are meant to be watched from a distance. If you relished this deep dive into the strange and the unexplainable, we have many more mysteries waiting for you on unveiling the unusual. And if geological enigmas stir your curiosity, you might enjoy our episode on the Tunguska event. Or take a different path entirely and explore the eerie legends of the phantom big cats of Britain. Until next time, keep your eyes open, your mind curious, and don't be afraid to ask questions.